Do you like sweet treats? If so, you're gonna love this traditional quilt block cake stand. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Welcome to Eva Dis Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pajagi, and embroidery. So cake stand is a traditional quilt block made with lots of half square triangles. So today I'm going to show you how to make an easy 12 inch version of this block. So choose your fabrics and let's get started. So this block uses two different colors of fabric plus the background fabric. So the first color is going to be for the cake and the little decorations on the cake. So I'm using this pink fabric for that. And out of that, you're going to need a nine inch square and then four three inch squares. And then the second fabric is going to be for the cake stand. So I'm using this gold fabric. So for that, you're going to need a nine inch square and one three inch square. And then from the background fabric, you're going to need two two and a half inch squares, five three inch squares, and two pieces that are two and a half inches by eight and a half inches. So we're going to start with all the three inch squares. So these two and a half inch background pieces, we can put to one side. And then with all the rest of the squares, we're going to be making half square triangles. So to do that, we're going to use the most popular half square triangle method. So if you want to see a detailed tutorial, I have one of those here, but I'll just show you how to do this with this nine inch squares. So on the back of the lighter color, you're going to draw a line from corner to corner, then put your pieces right sides together and then stitch a quarter of an inch away on either side of that line. Once the stitching's done, we're going to cut right on the line that we drew. So then we'll have two pieces that are half square triangles. So I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to press them with the seam allowance going under the darker fabric. And then once these are pressed, we're going to trim these down so that they're eight and a half inches square exactly. They're going to be close to eight and a half inches, but we're just going to trim it down so it's exactly the size that we need. So once these half square triangles are trimmed to eight and a half inches, then they're ready to be used. Unfortunately, we only need one of them in this block. So the other one is going to be a bonus one. So you could easily make two of these blocks, um, but that can be set aside for another project. Then you're going to need to make more half square triangles with the three inch squares, and they're going to be the background fabric with both the cake fabric and the cake stand fabric. And these are going to be trimmed to two and a half inches square. So you're going to do them the exact same way, diagonal line, stitch, cut, press, trim to two and a half inches square, and you're going to end up with two of the cake stand fabric and eight of the cake fabric. So once those are done, we're ready to begin assembling the block. So to assemble the block, this big piece goes right in the middle. And so this is our cake stand in the bottom and this is our cake. And so we're gonna put these cake stand triangles on the bottom so we can see that they're arranged so that that makes a straight line. And then our other background pieces are going to go around that so we have our eight and a half inch piece or two and a half inch piece and our other eight and a half inch piece and then these half square triangles will go on the top of the cake as decoration and if I start on this side we'll add them all going in the same orientation and it looks like it's too big, but that's because once we have these stitched together with the seam allowances, it'll be smaller. It will be just the same size as that triangle. And we're going to align them so that this is a right angle at the corner. 
and then the other ones will go down the other side and then our last square will go up in the corner now you can see I have my my oops this one's true I have my cake pointing in that direction you could have the whole thing mirror image and have the cake pointing in the other direction that's certainly um, another way to do it so now I'm going to start with joining these triangles into groups of four and so I want to um, be sure to lay it out first because these two strips of four are going to be in different orientations so they're going to be mirror images of each other so once they're laid out then we're going to join these into groups of four so these two triangle strips are made and notice that they are in mirror image so they are not identical to each other so then going back to our block I'm going to join one of these to this two and a half inch square and then the other one I'm going to stitch onto this main center half square triangle. So I'm going to stitch here and stitch here. And then while I'm at it, I'm going to stitch this half square triangle onto this piece and this half square triangle onto this piece. And we can see that all the pieces are starting to come together. So on these rows of half square triangles, I pressed those toward the dark fabric. But when I added on this background piece at the end, I pressed that away from the triangle fabric just because that's less bulk in the seam. So the same with this one, I pressed this toward the larger piece and these two I pressed away from the triangle. So that just helps eliminate some of the uh, bulk. So now we can see it's really coming together. We're gonna stitch these two together and we can put this on the bottom. So these three are gonna to go together and then this one on this side is gonna go with this um, little square and then we'll stitch the final seam to get the whole block assembled. So here's our finished block. It should be 12 and a half inches square and what a pretty cake on a beautiful cake stand. If you wanna see a written tutorial with lots of pictures, then click the link below to go to that. You'll find the tutorial for this block and lots of other cool blocks at my website, evadestudio.com.